came as a real surprise to me when I first looked into this. I never, I, to start with, I was very focused on what the possible side effects, the unwanted environmental impacts of these pesticides were. I just took it as read that they worked and that they were that important to farmers, that they, that they increased yield. Um, actually, when you start looking for the evidence for that, there isn't any. Uh, and this is pretty astonishing. Um, uh, in fact, there have been some recent studies that, that suggest um, that there may be no yield benefit or negligible yield benefit from their use. Um, so, for example, there were studies in soybeans in the US recently uh, which found no improvement in yield with these applications of seed dressings, which then begs the question, why on earth are farmers using them in the first place? Um, of course, from a farmer's perspective, he doesn't really, he, he takes the advice of his agronomist, he usually works for an agrochemical company, as to what's best. He doesn't really know which factors influence his yield very well. And I suspect these things are, are being oversold and, and farmers are essentially being advised to use them when actually it seems they usually don't need them. There, there are two obvious things that farmers can do to protect pollinators. Um, one is to try and provide them with some flowers. Um, leave a little bit of room somewhere on your farm for flowers and um, minimise their exposure to pesticides. And one of the simplest things that a farmer can do is not use neonicotinoids.